Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. This time we're going to be talking about another closed emitter red dot. And this time, specifically, we're going to be looking at the Siley Bear. This is going to be very close to an Aimpoint Acro P2 or maybe a Swamp Fox Kraken. And I feel that this should be in the course of discussion when it comes to closed emitter red dots. We'll touch on that in this video. But my question to you guys, sound off in the comment section down below. Do you prefer regular red dots like a RMR or a Holosun 507C? Or do you like the closed emitter red dots? I'm a big proponent of closed emitter. We'll talk about the reasons why in this video, but I would love to hear what you guys have to say. In addition to that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. It really helps kind of fuel the algorithm, get more people behind my message and everything that I'm trying to uh, put out there on the interwebs. Sharing this video is the best way to support the channel as well. In addition to that, I do have a podcast. It's called the Live Laugh LARP Podcast. Myself and my cameraman, Hefe, have decided to do this to kind of supplement everything we're doing with the channel and let you guys see behind the camera of some of the discussions that we have. Uh, we like to make fun of each other and tell jokes and, and talk about uh, how we feel about certain aspects of the firearms industry, give you guys some options as far as training and different types of drills, and then also talk about fitness as well. Check that out. I'll have a link to all of that down in the pinned comment or in the description of the video. I'd greatly appreciate all of the support. Okay, so let's get back into the Siley Bear. This is going to be, again, closed emitter red dot and exactly what you would expect from a red dot in 2023, almost 2024. So you're going to have, um, you know, brightness and dimming uh, settings that are going to be everything that you need. Uh, if you're going to use this for night vision, passive aiming, you, you can turn it way down and it's going to work. Um, it's going to take a 2032 battery that is installed on the side. That's something I really like. You don't have to, you know, take the red dot off of the pistol to change out the battery. Um, great, great option. On the side here, you have really good uh, buttons here to control the brightness and dimness of it. Um, the elevation and windage is pretty easy to, to adjust. You get positive clicks when you're making your adjustments and it is going to maintain zero very, very well. I have taken it to the range and just kind of held it up about three feet and dropped it onto the bench that I'm shooting from, racked it a couple of times against it, and at 10 yards, I'm maintaining zero. In addition to that, I took this out to 25 yards, and the combination of this red dot and the PSA dagger that I have on here I've been using kind of as a test bed for all of these different red dots. It was surprisingly accurate. Um, these two put rounds pretty close to each other. I would say probably about, um, I'm kind of going off memory of what, what we did, but probably right around that inch and a half uh, grouping at 25 yards, shooting offhand, you know, just no rest or anything, just me shooting um, normally. and. I was pretty impressed with that. I was very happy with how that worked out. So this is going to be um, a pretty close derivative of like the Swamp Fox Kraken. And it is going to be coming in somewhere around that $225 mark, uh, which is going to be a little bit cheaper than Swamp Fox Kraken. Now, if you're looking for something that has a little bit more brand recognition, then maybe the Swamp Fox Kraken would be more your cup of tea. Uh, I would probably recommend that over this if you have the funds to do that. But if you're looking for something, you know, just kind of entry level and don't want to spend a lot of money because you're going to put it on like a PSA dagger or a truck gun or something like that, um, then, then this would be a viable option for sure. Now, full disclosure, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, Siley sends these out, allows me to do my review how I want to do it and then talk to you guys about the good things with the bad. 
and we have a couple of things that I'd like to point out when it comes to this red dot. Uh, what else? Uh, one of the great things that I really liked about Siley is that they are offering the mounting solutions for this red dot um, for either a RMR footprint or a Glock MOS footprint. So these closed emitter optics uh, don't attach to a slide like a RMR or a 507C. They actually kind of clip on like a Picatinny section. So uh, as you can see here, you've got the mounting bolts here that kind of clamp on to the mounting plate. And Siley is providing plates to fit either an RMR or an MOS footprint. And I would think, uh, I honestly believe that that would probably cover about 80% of most people out there. Uh, they're either going to put this either on a Glock or a Glock clone or something that already has an RMR footprint. So I really do appreciate Siley doing that. Okay, so we've talked about all the things that is going on with this. Let's talk about my shooting experience. I have no complaints about it. Um, as mentioned, at the indoor range, it is um, you know as accurate as I can be with this particular setup. Um, it is fairly large, so if you're looking to conceal carry this kind of setup on, you know, a Glock style pistol or a polymer frame striker fire pistol. Uh, carrying this appendix might print just a little bit, but realistically, most people's situational awareness is so oblivious to what you're doing that they're not even going to pay attention. So you might print a little bit more than you would a standard red dot, but most people aren't even going to pay attention to that. Uh, this might do well for a outside the waistband, three o'clock position type setup uh, with a hoodie, you know, or even a coat in late fall, winter, early spring. So that's kind of my uh, use case scenario for something like this. Now let's talk about uh, two complaints that I have with the Siley Bear. Um, first is going to be the mounting solutions. Uh, they do include, you know, the plate to mount this onto your pistol, which is great. I really do like that. but. This mounting solution is just a little bit too thick for my preference. And the reason why I say that is I have suppressor height sights on this uh, PSA dagger and I cannot co-witness. Most people will say, well, if you have a rugged red dot that is going to survive, you know, a three foot drop and being racked against something, have 50,000 hours of battery life, shake awake technology, why are you concerned about backup iron sights? And that's a viable question. If that's not something that you care about, then don't worry about it. For me, I like the redundancy of iron sights. Uh, if you know a lens cracks or the battery dies because I forgot to change the battery, uh, then having the backup irons available is going to instill a little bit more confidence in my reasons for carrying this. So I would like to see Siley do something with that plate, maybe thin it out just a little bit more. Um, I, I, to be frankly honest with you, they probably could shave uh, one or two millimeters off of this and it would work just fine. And that would give me enough of my front and rear sight here to co-witness. That is my biggest complaint with this. And the second one is the distortion that you're going to see when looking through the lenses on this. And it's not specific to the Siley Bear, it's actually specific to all closed emitter red dots for like pistols. So your Acro P2, your 509T, your EPS, EPS Carry, the Swamp Fox Kraken, the Siley Bear, all of these that have two lenses very, very close to each other is going to give you a bit of a warping as you look through the lenses. And that has a couple of reasons behind it. Number one, you have two lenses very, very close to each other. You have one that is angled ever so slightly to allow that red dot to reflect back to your eye. So, you know, having this out here, if you're not completely straight on with your target and you're kind of fishing around to find that red dot, 
you're going to see that image warp just a little bit. And that could be extremely distracting to some people. So keep that in mind. I don't think it's that big of an issue, especially when it comes to parallax issues. You're not gonna have any issues at 25 yards and in, but it is a little bit distracting. So just keep that in mind. Again, this is so budget friendly that, um, you know, trying it on for size, especially if you're able to order it like through Amazon Prime, put it on your pistol, try it on for size, you know, for size. And if you don't like it, you can re return it back to Amazon using the Prime option. So, you know, just things to keep in mind when looking at these types of products. Again, at the end of the day, I'm not getting paid to say anything good, bad or indifferent. I just want to make sure that I give you as much of my experience and my you know, opinion about these types of things as much as possible so that uh, you can make your own decision on whether or not you would get one of these. So there you have it. That is the Siley Bear. I really do appreciate them sending out the red dot. It's been, it's been good. I haven't really have any major complaints about it uh, as far as its utility uh, and its usefulness it works. So there is that, but uh, I'd leave it to you guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. I would really appreciate that. I wanna have probably one or two more videos when it comes to the Siley products. I really do like uh, this new company. I think that it's going to do very, very well. And uh, we'll see what happens in the future. It's more torture tests coming as well. With all that being said, thank you so much for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. As always, catch you down in the comments. Here comes a high five. Freedom through strength. Take it easy, y'all. Bye.